Hello. In this activity is another practical activity for uh, art and for shape, okay? In this one I'm using a spiral, but you can use any other shape, but the spiral is really nice for this objective. Before the kids start, you need to ask him to feel what's the spiral. So we ask him to pass his finger all over the black line for him to understand what's an spiral and how what's move like moving okay okay so to do this activity you just need this uh, shape you can write by hand or print it's up to you and you need a different uh, like objects little objects it doesn't need to be this cube if you have it's nice but if you don't have you can do it anything even with paper okay so you can cut different papers and give them and here one I missed different formats as well the objective of this activity is for the kid to identify a pattern. For example, if he, you can give them a direction. For example, he starts with the red, with the red uh, cube, then green, then yellow, then purple, then orange, and then with this one purple and then start over again following the same pattern simple red green yellow purple orange and then you can ask them to put the blue one for example okay then do again red green, yellow, purple, and orange, and then finish with the green one, for example. Or you can use a pattern like that, or he can just do randomly, okay, if, so if your kid are not too big, you can ask them to do randomly, so don't need to follow a pattern, but he can, for example, say loudly the, the color for green, yellow, red, so any pattern he wants, even randomly, that's fine, for smaller kids, or for the, for the bigger, I recommend you to ask them to do a pattern, or you can just do randomly like that, and for example, in between, put these small ones for purple, blue, green, continue with the cubes, go back. So kids, they are really creative, so you can let them play freely. I'm going to put three here and complete with the cube. I'm going to put three greens.
So that's it. There's a lot of possibilities for your kids to play with this one. Okay, you can use different formats, different volumes, anything that you have available at home. Okay, even paper, if you don't have any piece like that, you can use paper, colored paper, small pieces, and ask them to fill it out using a pattern. So he can play over and over, okay, and take some time. And also, it lo doesn't look like, but it's also a math activity when he's identified this pattern, okay, he's activating, he's practicing his logical thinking. And also, the, he's practicing, they're practicing their concentration and their patience as well, okay? Because it takes time for them to do it. Okay, so that's it for today. And after they finish, of course, they need to clean up. So put everything back. So they're going to be practicing their organization. Put everything in the right place. And here it's nice to have the color for the small ones or if you have the different containers for different colors it's also fine it's up to you what you have at home it's okay so here green with the green purple Oops, purple here The blue. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.